Hi, my name is Rex. One day, as I was beginning a little afternoon snack, I noticed a small but tasty-looking creature approaching me. Um, excuse me, sir. Hi there, sir, he began. My name is Vorb, and I'm with Megamind, Inc. We're test-marketing a new ultra-megavitamin on your planet. It's called... <laughs> Brain Grain! I, uh, uh, huh? Where am I? A weird feeling jolted me. I began to utter strange but somehow meaningful sounds. As I was saying, Vorb panted. We're testing a new Mega Mind product, and for the lucky volunteers, there's an extra special bonus prize. I wondered what he meant. Then he added, and free snacks. I said yes. The other folks on board were surprisingly friendly, considering my years of terrorizing them. I was amazed at how easily they accepted the new me. It wasn't long before we became a new us. Together, we studied geography, math, penmanship, reading, and all sorts of things. Then, one day, Vorb came in and announced, You've passed. Thanks to you all, our research has been a success. And now for your prize. It's a trip to the 20th century. There you'll meet our favorite contact person, Dr. Miriam Bleeb of the Museum of Natural History. What an adventure awaits you! Just getting to the museum should be the thrill of a lifetime. Thrill of a lifetime? I asked. But before there was time for Vorb to reply, we were suddenly plunging downward in the dark toward water. We all sat in silence as we putt-putted toward our destiny, wondering what sort of welcome we would receive. Uh, excuse us, sir, we asked of the first little creature we saw. Could you tell us how to get to the Museum of Natural History? You're looking for the start of the parade? Just keep heading uptown. Traffic's light because it's a holiday. Great costumes, he said. Costumes? Parade? Well, we didn't want to seem like out-of-towners, so we nodded, thanked him, and marched on. We walked and walked until someone waved at us and shouted, Quick, get in line behind the Wichita Falls marching band. They're about to start. Perhaps this is some kind of welcoming ceremony, we thought. The crowd loved us. But they did call out curious questions, such as, Where are the motors? And how many guys are in there? We simply smiled and waved and acted as if we knew what they were talking about. Suddenly, I caught sight of what I thought was a familiar face. Say, isn't that old Wargul? I exclaimed. That Allosaurus who used to hang out by the tar pool? Maybe he can tell us where to get a bite around here. Hey there, big fella. Long time no see. Put her there, partner. Hey, stop. Hey, hold it. Hold it. Whoa. Hey, he's... That was my first mistake. Oof! Panic struck. Wait, please! They're r r real! Uh, excuse me, I, uh, let's get out of here! Eek! They're on to us, guys! Let's get out of here! I don't get it. Where's Wargul? Head for the museum! They didn't understand us. Monsters Hit Midtown, Late Edition Extra. Fangs, claws, spikes. Can you tell me? Excuse me, folks. Taxi! Do you know the way to the museum? Somehow we found our way to the museum, and not a moment too soon. Dr. Bleeb! May we come in? I said as Dr. Bleeb opened the door. Sure, but hurry, replied Dr. Bleeb. I have a plan, but we'll have to act quickly. I can't hold them off for long. Now, listen carefully. 
I want you to act like dinosaurs. That shouldn't be too hard, she said, kneeling down and baring her teeth. Like this. And when I say freeze, hold perfectly still. As she got up from her demonstration, we timidly tried to imitate her pose. She hurried toward the door, then turned and yelled, Freeze! The door creaked open, and the stomp of combat boots echoed throughout the halls. We didn't move a muscle. So you see, officer, I heard Dr. Bleeb say, the only beasts we have are these models in our diorama. The creatures you speak of have been extinct for a hundred million years. I don't know who you saw run in here. Perhaps it was a publicity stunt for some movie or the Inquirer. They probably went out this way. Come back and see us again when you have more time. Yes, I'm sure you like dinosaurs. You are only doing your job. I must go now. Goodbye and good luck. Dr. Bleeb, I said. Thank you for saving us. But is it too late to get out of this bonus prize? Not having a good time, she replied. Aren't you just a little curious about this new world? There's so much to learn from each other if you could stay a while and work with us here at the museum. But you don't have to decide right now. Why don't you sleep on it? We've got your beds all made. After we settled in, Dr. Bleeb opened a book. Once upon a time, she read, in the early Paleozoic era, there was a little trilobite who wanted more than anything to walk on land. Go for it, I muttered. We've come this far. Why not?